I'm filming this because of all that that uh, brace to hold the gutter up. That's a lot of fine iron work to do to support a gutter. Now I'm at it, one night from the other observations that are here. It's early morning in Coimbra. This is the hostel that we stayed at, Serenata Hostel, and it's by the Se Alta, the old uh, cathedral. And I'm going to take a walk this morning. Uh, there was, uh, there were so many students talking so much last night in this whole area that it sounded like bees. It sounded like a hive of bees. Uh, you can see the pigeons are looking for what they left, and there's bottles left. It hasn't been cleaned up. It will be uh, real soon. The, the street crew. It's just pretty early in the morning. Uh, the street crew will have it cleaned up uh, by eight o'clock. Okay, I'm going to walk down toward the river. Here's the car that we rented. Uh, we were back-ended by a guy and had, he damaged the car. Uh, not too badly. He hit us fairly hard. Um, and uh, this is that cathedral. I haven't even been in the cathedral. We're gonna walk, I'm gonna walk down that narrow street. Largo da Se Velha. I said Alta. Se is a cathedral, like a seat, and, and here you can see it better. Each evening we've ended up by drinking beer uh, here at this uh, outdoor cafe. At the first day we didn't realize this was the way to go if you wanted to find a restaurant. This is pretty much a direct and pretty easy route. It even has handrails. That tower is part of the old walled city. We, uh, Thomas and I, this afternoon, we may go in there. Uh, there was a walled city that's been, oh, to some extent, swallowed up by. Here comes a guy that's going to clean the mess up. Uh, this is this is here. You can see that it was a fortification. guitar as a woman. The main gate, or, or at least part of the fortification process.
and now I'm going to walk out of what was the fortified old city <clears throat> and this uh, this is a place full of stores and restaurants and flat and like I say it when we were first here we didn't yet, yet know this was here I'll go that way down to the river as in Lisbon this is just beautifully paved it looks almost as if it were waxed and I'll be going out there, but I wanted to look at this. I don't care about Spitfire at the moment, and I don't care about the glasses, but the blocks are so thin and longer than what we have uh, in the United States. Okay, now out here, the paving goes to a different theme. This is where we ate last evening. We had a, a, a pizza, well, a dinner. Now I'll, I'll go out until we can see that that river, the Mondego. Not sure who that man is. I haven't looked at. It. This is a university city, absolutely. Metalwork is cast. <laughs> Bird of Paradise. Way up there is the university. River Mondega. Ponche de Santa Clara. They're clean enough for boating. They're not swimming, but uh, guys, uh, what do they do? They, Throw those skulls, is that what you, or kind of what you call it? Real low, long, thin boats. Rowing this port. First day we arrived here in rush hour <laughs> and we and had to find a parking place. It was very hectic to try to find that hostel at first. There's the, that's a, a mosteiro, a monastery across the river. Interesting to see a, a woman at this hour in a long black cape with long black hair. And uh, there's the train station. I'm going to go down. I'll walk down to the train station and see what time it is. I'm guessing now that that mysterious looking woman has some is a student and it has something to do with the uh, college because she also was wearing a, a tie and kind of formal attire. I think the students, for some occasions, wear robes here. From the train, from the station, you can take a train uh, to Spain. There's Madrid. Uh, Covillan seems to be the uh, station that. Uh, no, well, yeah, there were, there's where you would change, which is north of here. It's not easy to get from, say, Lisbon uh, to Spain. 